Welcome back to Two City Kings 3. And we are playing as Flanders. And I just noticed that in our last little um, siege we had, just at the end tail of a war, we even got some money out of it. So that's nice. Let's have a little look around as to who we could fight about. What? Where's Frisia? Frisia, where is your... Where is your capital? Is it this? Yeah. So what can we do with you? Duchy of Utrecht. What can we do with you? A holy war for a duchy. What are you? A staru. Mm -hmm. Ah. Don't care so much for holy wars. Nothing with you. Nothing with you. Tell the truth with you, but I believe that uh, there are a lot of claims still left. But our Duke's claim is, of course, the most interesting of the claims. We will take the majority of uh, East Francia, yeah, and I believe that's what we're going to work towards. Let's check that our guy here is working on shortening truces. That's what we want, primarily. The integration of the title thing can wait. It's 55 years left anyway. So, my dear Countess, please do the thing. And I want a claim on Brugge. Because I feel like moving our capital. But we will just have to see. Should we use him as a bodyguard? Organize army, what should he do? Do we have anything with control issues? I mean, a bunch of things, but... I don't think that's a good use of his time. Let him train our commanders. I think that's more worthwhile. <clears throat> Get some potential knights out of it. So let's check our succession real quick. We are losing... A duchy, a county, and another county. It's a bit of an issue. But we want the duchy primary to be our headquarters. Of course, this here is really, 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 really high valuable. Because it's definitely the thing that gives us the most money, the most power. So switching will be a bit of a step back, honestly. So, he still doesn't want to come to our court, so... Yeah, I was thinking last time to change that filter around a little bit. Uh, I don't need this dude anymore, we don't need to sway either. I wish I could just right click it to move it. That's okay. Um, let's go sway this lady a little bit. Oh, we can't, she's too young. Countess is a child. Let's see. Doesn't matter. Uh, filter, 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 filter. Find character. Load this filter. And now we uh, switch to diplomatic range, that's fine. We want people in our court. And we just kind of take everyone in our court. Who's free, ideally. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So that way, at least, uh, we have a filter to see immediately everyone who's in our court. I know there's a list already, but I'm really bad with these pre-existing lists. So we'll, we'll just... Save this and, and call it uh, our court. 
Why not? And we'll throw away the potential courtiers because that doesn't work. Why is the good match one red? Incompatible with this character search. That's weird. Oh well. Okay. So let's check our children. Who is married proper? Who needs something still? We have a child, I see. Little Ida. Naturally, nearly Lily betrothed. Very good. You are naturally nearly betrothed. You are normal betrothed. Do we need this alliance? Well, okay, you need someone still. You have a lot of uh, implicit claims there. So let's see who we can get you. Your alliance power quite a bit. Ah. Oh, these are not really great. Do we want a beautiful woman that is going to give him more offspring that is also going to have all these claims? No, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Implicit claims. Do they get inherited? Okay, so no. These are not inherited. These are just a direct thing between a child and a parent. So if he ever got to hold any of these, his children would also get the claim. So it's fine. We could give him potentially someone who's just this. He is what? He's 14. She's four 17. Ah, oh, that's going to be fine. It would be inbred. Oh, no. Or potentially inbred. Well... Sometimes you gotta work with these things. Anjou is already within our realm. Kind of figured it weren't, but okay. I was also fixing to do a decision on whether we claim this, and I don't think we're gonna, because if we move our headquarters, then that's going to need something. What's going on here? Which one are we wearing? I can't tell the difference. Okay, it says here, equipped. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know which one is better. Does it say? Is there, is there like a quality to it? I don't know. All right, we are being ra- Oh, of course, we can be raided here too. Can't even really do anything about it, even if we had the men. <laughs> ah, I was checking through our family here. She is matrilineally betrothed. All good. Should we try and fight these? I mean, couldn't hurt, right? Just raise an army. Out here somewhere. There. See if it could work. The tide of battle. We gained the trait Reckless. Minimum battle roll minus four, maximum battle roll plus six, or we become a Reaver. Which increases our raid speed, which doesn't help us at all because we cannot raid anything. So we'll go for pressing the attack and... That's not great for our stress levels. Okay, let's combine forces. And, oh wow, tough soldier and a holy warrior. Our dear Princess Alex. I hope you are matrilineally. Uh, 
Um, no, it's not matrilineally. We'll be break this patrol though. We'll get something better. You deserve more, my dear. So who will take a matrilineally? And who gives the best alliance power? Duchy of East Franconia. I think that's something we're coming for anyway. County of Shalom. Let's go for a good match filter, which we can apply. So let's just do this. With a grandson and vassal now. Let's go with one of these guys. Him? Yes, him. Uh, yeah, I should try and move my troops as well, right? I'm I'm following you, bro. I'm following you into your lands. Trust me. Overwhelmed by stress, so now. A little granddaughter, huh? Let's get her into struggling a lot. And we stick with a good match preset. There, he's out of our family, but also solid. Now we don't convert, we definitely don't convert. We lose a friend. That's fine. We have an empty council position. Red. So we could give it to someone who's powerful, but we're not gonna. We give it to our beloved daughter. We'll do just fine. It is gonna be a... Why do we not have a prowess thing? Is it only for the people who are already knights in our army? I think so. No. We'll lead personally. Getting us that leader bonus. But I think we're losing. Yep. Ouch. Being beat back by this scoundrel. At least we tried to defend our lands and our peoples. And now we have to walk all the way home. Well, not actually. Yeah, still quite a way. What was that sound? Okay, let's stand our troops down just... Just so we can replenish for the next war. That didn't work out. What is his army comprised of? Okay. Nothing too interesting, anyway. <clears throat> So right now we're not really looking to do anything much. Would be nice to be able to declare war right now because they really truly don't have all that much in terms of power. Polabia. Okay. <gasps> no. 
our daughter died. That makes us even more stressed. I think we need to do something about our stress levels here. Let us go... Go on a pilgrimage. Yeah. And we will go to Cologne. As is tradition in this family. Managed grief? Yeah, okay, that's fine. And we become a confider. Which isn't the best, uh, worst thing to happen. We lost a lot of alliances there. Not all of them. Yes, let us drive these dogs away. We have fended off some bandits. Speaking of fending off some bandits... Should wait for them to accumulate some loot before we fight them. Very good. We become a determined pilgrim. Port event. Okay, there's some friendship going on. We... I mean... Our daughter could become lovers with her. I mean... We don't care. They just grow closer in forming a friendship. It's all good. New perk. And at arms efficiency plus 25%. Now, do consider all these wars we've lost. We've lost them on the martial tree. <laughs> That's a little bit terrible. Okay, we get a new knight here. Very good. He shall serve us. The sacking of Norfolk. We will help them to rebuild, and indeed we will go and kill these people now. Because that should be fine. We return from pilgrimage, meaning we can immediately go and... Ah, let's, let's, let's him do it. Uh, did I click the wrong thing? I said all. Oh, not just men at arms. Okay, that's enough. Let's get going. Don't need everyone, just mainly everyone. Oh, tool stick. Lovely. Very good. So now we can wait for them to depart our lands, allowing us to stand down again. We're being raided some more. I think it's always over here at the moment. Stand them down. We could hold court, and I think indeed we shall do just that. Let us hear some petitioners. The first petitioner may approach. Let us see. A peasant man stands before us, informing of the court of his plea. The recent war took all toll on the countryside, and we are not sure how who the culprit was. But they looted an important cultural site to us, Dutch, uh, from Ypres. Please, we beseech you, spare some of your resources so we can see it restored. Yes, we will. We will see it restored. There you go, 70 gold. Be off, my man. We are rich after all. Mayor Guis, who has clearly been working himself on about something, greets us. My king, the dogs of Courtray, Courtray think they are better than us, he spews. Cracking their haughty jokes each market day. 
Mayor Diedrich, the solitary curl, uh, churl, needs to be put in his place and the foreign fools made to respect the Saint Omer, the leading city of Flanders. Um, let's see. Yeah. You, you will stop this foolishness. Where did it begin? Dispute is settled. They are no longer rivals. As it should be. Alright. A shadow in the night. The man who approaches my throne is clearly a commoner. My lord, he begins a speech. I represent the local community of Boulogne. In the last few months, the cemeteries have been plagued with the disappearance of bodies. Oh no. All had been dug up and left no trace. At first we feared wild animals or obscure powers of work. But then our own court physician, Valerian, was caught red-handed, hauling the dead bodies away for his experience. Please put a stop to his blasphemy. Our hunchback lunatic court physician bishop? What? I cannot believe it. Um, well... I think we'll just tell him to stop it. Come on. Come on, boy. Stop stop stealing corpses. Alright? Just, just don't. That's a weird thing to do. Oh, we have an inspiration for a weapon. Should we? I mean, it's just 50 gold, right? Let's sponsor this inspiration. Let's go. Let's have something interesting come up. Uh, an axe, a hammer, or a mace? Yeah. Let's go for a strength weapon. Bye, court. Let's go. The artifact may gain a casualties modifier, a knight-related modifier, or a terrain. I think we, we will encourage our knights to greatness. And with that, we will leave it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.